right, let's get to it then. Okay, uh, let's focus to this. You guys don't need to be here. And not so many here either. You just come here. You need more food. Yep. So I made it a bit easier for myself and just to let this be a quick showcase and not prolong this over over a whole hour. We're starting in uh, Second Age. This is of course the Empire Wars mod or rather setting, not really a mod. Okay, now we'll upgrade this. Good, good, good. Oh god. Alright, that should be fine. I'm trying to find a place where to dock, but I've <laughs> been quite unsuccessful so far. Uh, oh, meanwhile, you, sir, can do this. Alright, great. So, yeah. Uh, Sicilians is the new civilization. They are uh, an infantry civilization uh, with quite an interesting, unique bonuses. I hope you can see them now. I sh hope I added them. <laughs> Um, and yeah, we're gonna be going through this game, I'm um, gonna be showing you what they can do, what they cannot do, what's the differences with... Oh god, okay, well that's not good. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, I'm gonna try to uh, talk through this, but I'm just a mere man and I cannot do multiple things at once, so bear with me. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll be showcasing some differences and uh, general theme plus uh, unique units. Um, overall, their architecture is quite similar to, uh, for example, Spanish and uh, the other Mediterranean civilizations. Well, that is because Okay, you guys stay here, you can finish it. That is because they are from Sicilia, which is in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea. Uh, so that makes sense. <laughs> uh, what is different though is their castle. They have a completely unique castle, uh, called Castle Skin, and they also have these things instead of towers, which is called the dungeon. Uh, there's a couple of special things about these, uh, which I'm gonna show you right when we get going. For now I wanna boom a bit, so that's why I have so many people here. I wanna make a few more fishing ships, I wanna make some town centers and get ready for this guy, because that guy's gonna attack. But not to worry, we can deal with this easily. I'm thinking if I should... Uh, I'm gonna put the town center there, that's alright. So yeah, so far everything going swimmingly. Talking about swimming, let's get more ships. There's never enough ships. And... Yeah. So, I can explain some more things about this civilization. So, as you can... as you could have red probably hopefully at least oh god oh yeah of course i forgot about that <laughs> it cost a bit more uh, i'm used to playing as bulgarians and bulgarians of course get the discount on on their on their town centers so I don't need to mind uh, any stone when, I'm play when I play as them. But what was I saying? Um, yeah. So, what's unique about these guys is that uh, as Bulgarians, <coughs> similar to Bulgarians, excuse me, <coughs> they can create these uh, somewhat towers. Uh, though they are not called crab posts, uh, these are called dungeons. And similar as as um, similar as Bulgarians, they can train unique units from them. 
What is different though is that they can do this in the second age already because these guys do not get towers. It's just this. So it's like a strong version of a tower. Not sure how this is gonna play out yet. Um, oh, okay, you come here. Maybe it's gonna be really strong. Maybe they're gonna need to buff this. Uh, that's up for more testing. But so far it looks really cool. I'm gonna show you what you can do with these guys a bit later. But now I'm just trying to boom as much as I can. Okay, I don't need these guys on gold. I don't need you guys on gold. Maybe a bit later. And I do not need you guys on gold either. So, let's maybe prepare to take a relic or two, because our enemy is playing as the Bulga Bulgandians. I hope I said that right. Um, their unique bonus is that they not only get gold from, unique, uh, from relics, but also food. So it's twice as good to deny those uh, relics. Alright, yeah. Of course, I forgot about this. Yeah, you can see I'm a bit rusty, I haven't played this in a bit. So let's go, let's put this here, let's try this, we can get wheelbarrow. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe we can start mining and get some upgrades. Or not, that's okay too. Okay, you can help your friend here and we're gonna build a castle. So this is the completely new skin for Burgundian, not Burgundian, sorry, for uh, Sicilians. I believe they're getting this as the only civilization. Uh, the other Mediterranean ones uh, stay the same. Which is cool, which is cool, because, you know, you get something new. Uh, right, I think we're getting quite ready for whatever we want to do. What we want to do is we want to defend from this guy attacking and then smash him back. Yeah, I think he's taking the relics from here already. I think I'm a bit slow on this. Well, that doesn't matter. He's not really gonna live to see these relics pay out anyway. Let's, let's do more farms because I want to make a lot of unique units and these guys cost food and quite a lot of it so yep let's just do a bit of that let's save some food to get to next stage and then we can we can attack this guy so what I think that the role of Sicilians is gonna be as this I'm not too sold on this tower rushing thing because yes their towers are stronger that is true but also they cost a lot more so in the dark age you can make one of these and then you need to uh, you don't need to you don't need to die there just run away and then uh, you need to mine another 200 stone which I don't know if you want to spend so much, so many resources on that. But yeah. uh, what I think they're going to be good at though is this early imperial pressure. Because uh, of something I'm going to show you here. This. Each town center spawns a one time batch of 10 sergeants. And this, I think, is such a huge power spike, because uh, first of all, you're getting this for really cheap. I mean, it costs 600 gold, but you're not going to be using the gold that much anyway. So this just goes 50 units out of nowhere. 
And we do actually need some more gold, speaking of the devil. So let's get this one. Let's get some farms. And here comes our army, our crusade, we can say. <laughs> Look at this, out of nowhere. Now just wait to get to Imperial Age, upgrade them. Yeah, 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 I know. No, we don't need so much wood. Let's upgrade them, let's give them some of these upgrades as well. And we can get some pikemen as a supporting unit. Yeah, I don't think that's really a problem. Right. And the magic thing you can do with these guys is they can create their own dungeons, which in turn spawn even more of the unique units. I still need to remember this uh, elite sergeant. So this is kind of like if you imagine goth spam, spam but these guys can create their own uh, their own barracks. Oh God! All right. Uh, let's let's just walk through this. Uh, don't mind me. As if I was not even here. And we're just gonna build one or two, one or two of these. So yeah, all right. Uh, we can prepare for a second push. Meanwhile, let's get some trebuchets here. I don't know. I consider these guys kind of dead meat, though. I think they're gonna they're gonna tear it through this guy. Yeah. While well, you're at it, just build another one here. Yeah. You know, just why not? And build another one here. <laughs> this is great. It's like. Self-sustaining raid, never-ending. <laughs> oh, Alright, well that looks funny. Mm. We're gonna need to take care of this castle anyway, so why not just do that? Alright, you sir, you do not want to be there. You want to create more. And uh, let's just build here, why not? Okay. You create more. We all are gonna create a bit more of these. Trebuchets are on their way, great. We're gonna make them deal a bit more damage as well. <laughs> Though I don't know if it's really needed at this point. Just gonna create some more more towers and it should be the end of this guy. So yeah, I think you can really see the power of them. Um, what I have not mentioned yet is their bonus against the... I don't, uh, maybe not the bonus, but rather counter to counter units. Um, <laughs> what they do is... Let me actually show this. What they do is negate 50% of bonus damage. So if you say Arbalists are attacking them, they're not gonna die so fast. They're just gonna take two damage instead of four or how, how much the Arbalists are, getting, are dealing to them. So overall, really, really strong Sith. Like you can see how fast I demolish these guys just with a bunch of... Uh, Sergeants and tower rushes. <laughs> it's literally like you're building a smaller castle uh, in their base that doesn't take this much space, and you can defend itself by it can defend itself by the guys that are constructing it. So yeah, I ex I'm expecting this to end very soon. Let's just destroy this. So. He does not have any thoughts of of winning. And that's a beautiful animation. Alright. And after this, 
that should be the end, right? Yep. All right. On Great. Some villagers. Well, there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Um, hope you also enjoyed playing them. Uh, I sure did. So, yeah, just <laughs> go and try them yourself. Have fun.